As COVID rules keep relaxing today, a teenage rite of passage is making a big comeback. Prom night. CBS News Marissa Parr live at Soldier Field where a much different kind of dance is already underway. Marissa. Noble Charter School stayed remote the whole time, so these seniors that are filing in right now haven't seen their fellow classmates since last March when they were still juniors. So tonight is both a farewell and a reunion at the same time. I'm excited, prom 2021. He's suiting up to see classmates he hasn't seen in a year. When do you guys see them again? Today. Yeah. This is life for pandemic students. Brendan Mendez has spent his whole last year of high school in his living room. His hangouts with classmates here on his computer. So excited to see my teachers as well. I haven't seen none of my teachers since we've been remote this whole time. Remote learning has been very hard. Like so much in the last year, he thought the prom he'd been dreaming of for years would be canceled. Hearing like, we'll get back to you later. It just it's, it's so, it felt, like it felt defeating because like, I thought I was never going to get an answer, but like, look now. And look, he did at the surprise announcement in his inbox just weeks ago. They gave us a video in our emails. Hey, your prom is going to be at the iconic Soldier Field. As part of the senior council, he had a lot of planning to do. My suits, the corsages. How are we going to get there? Um, who's going to pick us up? On top of classes and college applications, on top of his part time job, but it was worth the juggle. You know, this year has been really challenging. But we managed to get through it, and today we're going to have a good time and celebrate all that hard work we did. As you can see, they went all out. They've got balloons, they've got the red carpet, they've got the velvet ropes as people start to arrive. Everyone is dressed in their prom best, but this is still something that they're going to use precautions for. Everyone will be required to wear a mask and social distance inside. Reporting live from Social Field, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.